Sometimes people are lucky enough and smart enough to have created an air pocket under the snow when the avalanche forms. The way that's done is as the avalanche is slowing, you just make a, a bunch of erratic fast movements in front of your face. And sometimes that can make a nice little air pocket that gives you more time to breathe, which is pretty awesome. Um, sometimes it'll happen naturally. But one of the big things to watch is, uh, that's pretty scary is if you're a rescuer, you don't want to stand directly on top of where they are because if they've got this air pocket, you'll collapse it. So don't stand directly on top. You want to come in from below in instead. So I'll, I'll sort of demonstrate what that should look like. That's if, if I can get up here. That I don't want to stand directly on top of where the person is because if they've got any sort of air pocket I'll probably collapse it right on top of them and now they're not feeling very happy um, so instead what I should have done is come in from below and just move the snow downhill so I want to be careful even when I'm probing but particularly when I'm shoveling not to stand directly on top of where I think the person is thanks team